this woman has cheated death. Now death wants to even the score. Soul Survivor is a 1983 horror film about a woman named Denise Watson, who becomes the only survivor after a terrible plane crash. After the crash, she starts to get haunted by strange people standing in the streets or just staring blindly at her. Her doctor believes that she might be experiencing the Survivor's Syndrome, where single survivors of tragic accidents gets feelings of guilt by being the only one left alive. Her sightings of these strange people start to get worse and worse, and she starts to fear that these things are actually after and able to attack her. The first time I heard of this movie was while listening to my favorite podcast out there, Shockwaves, where they gave it a good recommendation and was surprised at how parts of it felt very influential to one of the best horror films we've gotten in the last years with It Follows. It's been described as almost like a mixture between It Follows and Final Destination. It absolutely has part of both of those movies in it without them ripping this film off, so if you're a fan of either Final Destination or It Follows, then there are stuff here that you will find interesting and most likely enjoyable. The best part of Soul Survivor is the creepy scenes where the dead people, or whatever they are, are just standing around observing Denise. There is some equally creepy score added on these scenes, and if the entire movie had a feeling like this, then this would not have been a forgotten film, but rather a classic horror movie that we all would cherish. The rest of the film, however, has a more late 70s feel to it. It actually feels a bit dated, or rather old school, even by the time it had came out. Compare this to the other big horror movies that came out during the early 80s, like The Thing or Evil Dead, then you'll understand what I mean. The bad though is that the film has too many parts of it with just a bit too dull for my taste. It is a bit of a slow burn, with a lot of time being spent on the main character Denise and her life. The dialogue is a bit odd at times, but even so, the characters do come off very natural and realistic. Denise is played very well by actress Anita Skinner, who only did one other movie than this with the 1978 effort Girlfriends. I'm surprised that she didn't do more work, uh, she looks like a perfect actress for a late 70s television show, and as mentioned, she did it quite well on this film. Horror fans will recognize the director and writer behind this film, Tom Eberhardt, as his next film will be the fun horror comedy Night of the Comet. Soul Survivor was his very first feature, and it's easy to see that he's passionate about this project. It is interesting to see how classy he did this as a young director, obviously not worried about adding Guts of Gore, which we were starting to get used to by that time period. Eberhardt would go on to direct a new feature every other year, but other than his first two features, I can't say that I recognize anything else he's done so far. I don't have much more to say about The Soul Survivor. It is a hidden gem for sure, the creepiness alone in it makes it worth seeking out. You must have some patience though, as this is not a fast paced film, and it feels more like a 70s movie than an 80s movie. Code Red released this on DVD in the US, and if you don't have this already, then get ready to pay some big bucks for it. The film has a cheaper European Blu-ray release though, and if you want to go for the cheapest option out there, then the good old Western VHS release is a good choice. The Soul Survivor was a nice experience, and it absolutely deserves more recognition. So I will give it a 3.5 out of 5. And who ought to remember this film, and what are your opinion on it? Do you think that the makers of Final Destination and It Follows had seen this before they made their movies? And got any other hidden gems that are waiting to get recognition that it deserves? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe for more horror movie reviews coming in the near future. Thank you very much for watching.